Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Valheim with me baby dragon over here. In today's episode we are planning to do some weapon upgrades and some equipment upgrades and also talk a little bit about our future base expansion options. Um, so let's dive right in and then start upgrading our, our stuff or or at least seeing what we what we can upgrade now. Okay so let's check uh, what sort of recipes we have in the forge and here seems we have uh, two options uh, to upgrade some of our armor it requires both iron and linen thread 10 of each iron seems we require 10 iron and 20 linen thread so with iron uh, i'll give you a quick update so i did not uh, have enough iron so what i've done is i've gone to this swamp over here and also this one to get some more iron unfortunately because the swamps are not the biggest um, in this one we only found one crypt that we could uh, mine some iron so I sailed all the way over over here to this one and fortunately this had one more uh, so we managed to mine two mine out uh, completely tried two of those crypts over here so I think we we got about uh, 100 almost 200 I've gone ahead, well actually a lot more, 120, uh, 180, 210 and also another 30, so about two, 240 iron is what we, what we brought back. I've gone ahead and smelted all, all of the iron already as well, along with the, with the black metal. Uh, now when it comes to linen, we do have to go to our planes farm and get some more linen from there. I do have a little bit in this base, but we are just gonna grab a little bit more from there. And here we go, here's our upgraded, well, well updated, updated uh, main uh, teleporting uh, area of the, of the base, which we did in the last episode. So we need to go, let's see on the map, we need to go to the planes one, which is this teleporter over here. And now let's just grab all the flax and well we'll grab the barley as well because it's already already ready to be harvested so i'm hoping this should be enough i'm planning to take only half of what i'm getting from here so that i can replant the the other half and have some even more in case we need it in the future or in case we don't have enough for um to upgrade everything uh, to level 4. So this gave us well 48 flax which which obviously isn't gonna be enough but that's alright we'll um, make all the new equipment uh, first uh, we might not be able to fully upgrade everything um, but that's okay uh, we can always just uh, wait a couple more days and uh, I'll do the planting later I'm not gonna do it right now I'll do it off camera because um, it's not very very interesting interesting to watch that so what I'll do is I will leave half of this over here and half of that oh it's saving and then we'll jump back to base okay so let's put the barley in the windmill and the flex will put it in the was it called the sewing table something something like that so here should be our what is it called spinning wheel all right we'll put all the flax in here 24 of that and we will put barley in this one here oh seems like we already had some in here well that's okay i can always restock it later so here's what we have I'll leave the barley over here i'll take all the flax and let's start uh, making some new equipment then. Okay, I'll grab a little bit of... Well, I'll grab all of the armor. Um, iron, I mean. And let's make one of these. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough, am I? Yeah, definitely need... Well, actually... No, we should have enough. So let's make these ones. Let's make the helmet as well. Alright, so we got the full set and now i'll put the iron back we'll leave the linen here as well and let's see what else can we make 
never used these ones before and I don't really think we're going to make one. I think we'll make a black metal axe. We will also... Let's see, does it have a pickaxe as well? Black metal knife, porcupine, shield... Don't really see the pickaxe. Well, that's a little odd. There's bronze and iron one here. So does that mean that there is no black metal pickaxe at all? Um, well, anyways, we'll make the other equipment that we can. So we'll make the black metal axe. We'll also make... Where is it? Black metal shield. And we'll try and remember to pick the style before actually making one. I mean, uh, that's exactly what happened with my uh, silver silver um, shield over there. It's really unfortunate how you can't style it, add the style to the uh, to the items later after um, uh, you've uh, crafted the item because it's it's happened to me quite a few times. Um, same with iron tower shield and the uh, the bandit shield as well. So I had to make another one just because I forgot to um, select the style before making it. Anyways, so we'll make the black metal shield. I'm going for the for this one instead of the tower shield because um, I want to have more uh, mobility. Uh, black metal shield uh, decreases your movement speed by 5%, whereas the, the tower shield uh, takes a whopping 20%. Uh, so I prefer the mobility over the, the block power. And to be honest, well, it is 15 difference, but we're okay with that. And last one we're gonna make is the porcupine. So seems like with all these items we are gonna need some pine wood, so let me just go quickly and grab some. Okay, and we've got everything that I think we'll need on us right now. We've got some uh, pine woods, uh, we've got some black metal, got some chains, and I think something needed uh, needles as well, so uh, let's start crafting. Uh, let's start with the bottom of the list and see what we can make porcupine what are we missing oh this one requires linen and iron so let's take the linen we'll take the iron as well and we will make porcupine all right let's see what it looks like as well oh oh wow it has a bit of a glow to it as well that looks pretty cool. Okay, we'll put it away for... Let's put the iron away. I don't think we'll need this linen. I think we needed some. Uh, we'll put these things away. And we'll, we'll check uh, check out the full kit later. Alright, so next thing we needed was the axe. So let's... Actually, let's make the other things first. In case... No, we should have enough. Okay, let's make the shield first. So for style, that's quite a tough choice, um, but I think I quite like the uh, this one here. So let's make one of these, and we'll also make the make the axe then. Now for everything else on this list here, not really sure if I want them. I mean, I'm. Um, quite happy with uh, I do want to use the shield I mean uh, for the parry it's uh, for using the parry against the opponents I mean and I mean this one here is a two-handed weapon uh, it does a lot of pierce damage but uh, let's see what else do we have knife to be honest I've never really used the knives here they are very good if you um, are using uh, using them when whilst uh, sneaking and uh, so you get the backstab uh, um, bonus damage which is 10 times um, and yes that is that is a lot of damage but um, as I said I don't really do a whole lot of sneaking around the around this game to be honest and with the with the sword over here um, let's see it's one-handed does 95 slash damage I wonder if that's maybe better than the porcupine against uh, those feelings and, and maybe some other creatures. I'll have to look it up, but I think for the time being we'll keep uh, 
keep it as it is and we will put back all this other stuff and let's see what everything looks like when we uh, equip it all where's the porcupine all right yeah that looks definitely way more cool than the uh, wolf armor can't wait to use it against some enemies as well oh yeah now i did check earlier and it seems we can make some uh, new capes as well so there's two there's locks cape uh, which is resistance against frost so same as the fur one but the only difference is that it has a bit more durability and now the next one is the linen cape which i think is actually quite interesting as well but it doesn't have any any um, re damage resistance on this one so i suppose it's just for for the beauty effect i suppose and um, what is really cool about this we we can change the style i don't think you could you could do it with any of the other ones no you can't so you can only do it with the linen one so we could make a different colored one i don't really know which one to make so maybe we'll leave it for the time being and and we'll make one once uh, once we make up our mind uh, but i was hoping uh, i think the next thing we'll do is we'll try and um, upgrade at least the armor and well we would want to upgrade the porcupine as well so let's check out what does the what does it cost uh, cost us to upgrade these okay so that requires iron and needle that's no problem at all we have tons of iron so let's come over here let's go into upgrade and not craft another porcupine by accident so upgrade to level two to level three and oh i upgraded the wrong thing oh well that's all right we've got we've got the iron so that's not gonna be a problem at all so porcupine is level three what are we missing level seven wait are we are we missing something i thought we already have fully upgraded this so what is missing from here do i have to put the art artisan table here to make it a higher level or no it's the grinding wheel oh right i see so to make the sharpening stone do we need i think if i remember oh no wrong button if i remember correctly to make the spinning wheel we need one of the stone gutter stations here so let's build a temporary um, let's build temporary stations here so we can upgrade oh that's heavy okay let's put this one here and now let's put we need some stone okay we have stone let's put this one here let's see if we can walk here oh it needs a roof great okay so maybe we'll oh this is a nightmare and now I'm too heavy. Okay, let's put these down. This one here. Grab this. Crafting table here. Stone gutter. We will put here. So now it has a roof. We'll make the sharpening stone. And... I already forgot. Oh, the spinning wheel. The grinding wheel, sorry, yeah. So let's try and place this. Oh, please. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try and figure out a better location later. But for the time being, we will place it here. So now we should be level 7. Yes, we are. Let's grab all these items again. And now let's upgrade the porcupine. Okay, and now it's level 4. Which means it does blunt 50 and pierce 63. 
Um, let's see, our first one right now. I have a feeling our Frostner now is about the same amount of damage. But the benefit of having the Frostner is that it does Blunt Frost and Spirit damage. Whereas Porcupine only does Blunt and Pierce. Okay, so that's kind of, kind of interesting. We'll, we'll see. We'll uh, definitely keep the Porcupine us, but I'm thinking we might keep the Frostner as well in case we do want to use it again. Now, let's upgrade some other stuff as well. Let's put the, okay, we're going to need some bit more iron on for this. And let's upgrade it to level... What is it now? Four. Let's upgrade this to level four as well. So the Battle Greaves are now level four. And lastly, we have the Helmet. And I think we ran out of iron. That's no problem. Grab some more and upgrade. Oh, is that? No, it's level three. What are we missing now? 15 iron. Oh man, we're going through this iron so quickly. And level four. Okay, I'll put this, these aside. Uh, which one is this? Okay, I'll put, them, put it here for the time being. Equip all this stuff. And now let's try and upgrade the shield and also the, the axe. So for the shield, which is right over here, we need black metal. And for the axe, we also need black metal. Cool, so let's grab a whole bunch of black metal. And let's upgrade. Now, I think I won't have enough for both. So we will do... Yeah, we're not going to have enough. What are we missing to upgrade the... Um... It's the chains. Oh man, I'm going to go through all my chains as well, aren't I? Um, no, we're not. So this takes it to level 3. What now? Black metal. Oh, so black metal shield. The maximum level is level 3, which gives us block power of 100. And this one gives us 80. Well, it wasn't fully upgraded. But still, it's still very good. So put that one there. And for the axe, can we upgrade it to level 4? Or let's see. So this brings it to 3 and then more black metal, which we don't have. Wait, are we literally missing 3? Where is it? Uh, okay. Well... I guess we're gonna have to go back to back to the planes to upgrade uh, to fully upgrade the black metal axe as well. Well, that's all right. Um, we'll leave the rest of the items here. I'll put them in the right boxes later. Uh, but for the time being, let's drop this stuff here. We'll equip this and let's leave this here as well for a second. All right. Oh, it's night time. Well, that's a bit of a shame. So, okay, what we'll do is we'll sleep tonight and we'll come back tomorrow tomorrow, um, when it's morning and a bit more lighter. And then we'll um, look at some uh, base expansion options that I was thinking, thinking as well. Good morning, everyone. It is another beautiful day here in Valheim. And uh, let's go and check out what sort of plans I have for expansion. And before doing that, actually, I have a chance to test this out now. If we land it. And, well, okay, 90 damage over there. Right, so, um, what we were thinking is, in the previous episode, I've already uh, upgraded our uh, teleporting range over here. Uh, so, this looks pretty cool now. And, and of, um, what the idea over here was that... Um, um, I found that right next to my base are uh, those uh, those stone pillars over here and those five of them. So I thought, well, why don't we use this and uh, create like a um, like a main 
teleporting area so these five will be the um, the main areas where i need to go so for example here's the altar uh, which takes us back to the uh, the spawn area where we can change the different powers that we have uh, here is planes one where is our uh, our farm in the planes to grow some flax and and barley uh, here's my my first initial main base where a lot of my teleporters still are so i do still have to in one of those episodes um recommission my old, old base and bring all those teleporters over here um because actually i have quite a lot of uh, portals around the world and and some of those uh, i don't use at all so i may yeah i may have to go around and and just take them down and and um, there's no point just having tons of them lying around Anyways, this is Planes 2, which takes us to the... And uh, right next door to Planes 1, slightly bigger biome, but... Again, uh, there isn't really anything interesting to us other than, you know, going around and looking for fuelings for black metal. Um, so I don't think we're gonna keep this one. Um, well, we'll keep it for the time being, but we probably will recommission this later as well. And over here... Where we have a teleporter that takes us to to here, uh, so that was used when I dug up quite a bit of sil uh, silver here and also got the uh, defeated the motor uh, saving again. And uh, this is kind of temporary um, because what happens sometimes I come back from uh, from some of the areas and I just need to up um, repair something, so I've got a little. Um, workbench over here so I can quickly upgrade and these are just drop boxes um, so in case I need to go back very quickly I just drop some stuff off, off over here and then organize organize later anyway so that's the main teleporting area that we have oh and I need to take this down over here as well uh, I had to quickly um, build this so I can repair my hammer and I mean, yeah, the workshop over there is very close, but it's just a little bit closer to repair it whilst I was building this. Anyways, um, so coming over here, I have flattened the area a little bit, but I still have to do this whole area over here. And what my plans are, um, maybe I'll show you on the map first. So our base is here, and that's where we are, uh, where we are right now. And I was thinking of. Um, using those ships in the in the future episodes to do a bit more exploration and and to go closer to the uh, map and see what else is out there um yes there there is another bone mass over here uh, the one we defeated was actually here but whilst going through those swamps over here uh, we discovered a location for for the uh, uh, for another bone mass uh, that we could defeat if we uh wanted to for whatever the reason is Anyways, coming back over here, so what we um, currently have to do is we park our ships just outside here and then uh, wheel the resources back and forth from our base. Um, now, however, sometimes, uh, and in, in when I was trying to get the iron as well, I was coming from, from uh, this area over here and uh, it would have been a huge shortcut to go through, to cut through this land over here and come straight to straight to the base uh, which is here so um but instead what we had to do is we had to go down all the way here come around the wind obviously by that time was against us and then we just had to row all the way um over here where the base is so what i'm thinking is i want to cut that that time a little bit um pickaxe a little trench over here so that the boat could come through and uh, so we could sail straight into our base from this side but also from this side now that's where it is so i'm thinking of building a little kind of like a docks area over here to maybe have enough space for for like two boats and then we will build base pretty much right next to it and have a have a stone wall that goes goes around it as, uh, as, a, as well um, so we'll have like a docks here um, we'll have the walls walls surrounding and then we when we go through we're straight into our base so I'm also thinking to move the forges and the workbenches to more closer closer area over here because most of the time when we when we two sailing it's uh, like I'd say 80% of the time it's 
uh, the reason for sailing is to bring back some uh, some iron or, or silver or, or black metal anything like that and um, I mean wheeling it all all the way over there wasn't really a problem but I just uh, I'm just thinking um, to make my my own life a little bit more easier as well and and build those things here since our teleporting area is now in this location as well so it's quite a huge project that I want to undertake and probably uh, not gonna happen all at once but um, I think yeah that's probably the next thing uh, that I want to want to do after I've grown uh, enough um, resources in the planes biome and upgraded my my gear but um i think yeah that's what we'll do is we'll um, each episode will start building a little bit as well mixed with a few episodes of of exploring the map a little bit more i mean we have explored quite a bit but there is still so much to to see and and i do know that there are some other biomes that don't have the the mobs yet however it would be interesting to go out and then and, and um, see what else what else is really out there so yeah that's pretty much the plans uh, we've done the uh, equipment upgrades and we'll we'll do a little bit more and uh, there was a few a few um, a few things that we still need to further upgrade um, but thanks everyone for joining in today's episode and we'll see you in the in the next one